Yo, what's going on? I hope you're well, and I have something new. I want to take a moment to thank Eric from uh, Tilted slash Pocket Vapor. Uh, Tilted would be what I got right here, the TLTD8 is uh, for Tilted Delta 8. These are Delta 8 gummies that I was given for free to do a review on in this video. And I've been reviewing these for about a week and a half, and uh, I think I know what I think. However, we got the two main stars of the show, two that I have not tried yet. I have the Pichango and Dumawi flavors of these gummies. Now, I've tried every single other flavor, and I've saved my two main ones for last. Um, we're also going to do something special today. We're going to take a larger dose. What that means is, I had every flavor given to me in little two packs, and over the past week and a half, I've been sampling them. Different times, different variations, and uh, different stomach contents going on. Wanted to get a whole mix of things, and here's what I found. This is the first time, well, A, this is the first time I've ever had a Delta 8 product, point blank. And secondly, it's my first time experiencing microdosing effect. I say microdosing effect and throw up the bunny ears because dosing with edibles is a unique experience. It matters on the individual entirely. I have friends that even if we're talking about just normal Delta 9 THC, five to 10 milligrams of an edible product is enough to dose them, that they're absolutely feeling a high. I'm not that dude, <laughs> not that dude at all. I consume around two to 300 milligrams of THC when consuming edibles to get medicated. So this is all to say, it matters on you, man. It matters on you and how your stomach breaks down food. Uh, just like on the label of these, they ask that you kind of take it easy at first. See what a half serving or even just one gummy in the two pack will do for you. I've already done that for you and I can report to you that consuming two of these gives me a micro dosing effect that I've never had before, but I always hear you motherfuckers always talking about it, especially with CBD. Folks saying, hey, you know, I use CBD to uh, relieve anxiety and just to, to feel good. I'll be real with you. I've eaten all the CBD products in the world and I don't feel a thing. That's a different story for a different day. But with these two 50 milligram Delta 8 edible gummies, I feel good, man. Do I feel high? No. But I finally have that sort of like, hmm. I don't necessarily have the urge to medicate, but I'm not stoned. I feel good, man. And it's very rare for something to not get me high and make me feel good. I had that with these, man, authentically. So what we're gonna try today is a larger dose of these bad boys. I'm gonna have four of each. I wanna take eight gummies. Now, this is still a Kush No Ketchup review. We got to get our first sniff of both of these. So, Pichango. Nice. Love that that's sealed. Love that that's sealed. Okay. That easily smells like... Like the most candy-like. Mmm. That smells like peach rings. So, take a look at this real quick. This is the texture and appearance of most of the gummies that I've grabbed. There's kind of a sugary exterior, but a nice squishy texture. In regards to the peach ango flavor, I'm gonna let you know right now what I think of it. Okay, I'll tell you this. Without question, through all of their flavors I've tried, this one's the best so far. Mm. I actually enjoyed that. I actually enjoyed that. I'm gonna be real with you. I didn't have plans on saying this. 
I did not enjoy most of the flavors. I love gummy candies, and I found most of the flavors to um, be pretty faint, to have a uh, momentary uh, burst of flavor, and then would just disappear. Those, not the case. I still can kind of taste that peach ring candy in my mouth. I liked that. I liked that a lot. Now with these uh, Damaui, Damaui, very interested. Very interested to see what these are like as well. Again, loving that these are sealed. Yo. Yo, that smells like pina colada and pineapple. That smells great. Again, a lot of the other flavors, they didn't really, um, they didn't smell that strong. Let's, uh, let's see how this tastes. Okay, softer than the others. This doesn't really taste like anything. Maybe kinda like coconut. I gotta be real, man. These are almost tasteless. They smelled so good. They didn't really taste like anything. Okay. Okay. So, overall, my experience of physically consuming these gummies, they are, uh, they're not my favorite in the taste category, but that's only out of them not really tasting like much. Not like I take one, took one and was like, oh my God, this tastes horrible. That didn't happen. They just um, really lacked flavor in comparison to normal candy or cannabis candy gummies. Uh, that being said, the Peach Ango, y'all, grab that one for sure. For sure, grab that one. That's been the most um, normal, if you will. But uh, now we have uh, some fun. Now we get to see what does, I mean, if they're 50, 50 times 8. Was that 400 milligrams? So I've taken in 400 milligrams of the Delta 8, and um, we're gonna see psychoactively can a larger dose of Delta 8 compare to a normal like THC Delta 9? I don't know this answer, y'all. This is uncharted territory, this is new ground. Um, but I'll tell you what, I'm going to let time and digestion do its thing. I'm gonna turn the camera off and set an alarm for maybe an hour, hour and a half, and I'll check back in with you guys then. Uh, if you know me, I like doing things in the moment, and <laughs> it hasn't been an hour. It has not been an hour like I promised, but I'm high, man. Like, straight up. I'm high. I feel great. Am I over here out of my damn mind? No. No, but dude, come on, like, <laughs> this is cool. Y you gotta understand, first Delta 8 experience point blank, these were mailed to me. This is legal. I'm sorry, man, I I I'm a child of prohibition. I'm a child of uh, growing up in a house where cannabis, drugs, mind-altering substances... Not allowed, looked down upon. Whew. I'm a 31 year old man. It's a new day, a new age. You can get cool gummy just shipped to your house now. <laughs> so, yeah, man, I'm going to continue to do what I told you I was going to do and just let these do their thing. But I would be so out of pocket, so out of pocket. To not jump in here and say, hey man, Delta 8 is not bunk. It's not a lie. It's not fake. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Let's do this right. Let's do this right. <sighs> Dude, let me tell you something. 
it's like, no, no, let me get you an exact number, an exact number. It's been like two and a half hours since I consumed that 400 milligrams of the Tilted Delta 8 gummies. <clears throat> Check it out, man. Not only did the effects increase, I'm like... I, I'm just I'm I'm just as high as normal edibles would get me. I think so. My speech and like coordination, especially over the past hour, I was telling my friends I was like, "Hey, you remember those Delta A gummies?" I was like, "I ate a bunch and I feel something." They're like, "Oh, that's cool." Hour later, I'm like, "Yeah, I'm 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 really feeling something off those." And then I told him one more time, I was like, hey, take everything I said about the gummies and like double it. I'm like actually stoned. They're like, that's awesome, man. I thought it was awesome too. So I have to tell you, I'm so fucking happily surprised. Seriously. Because what did I have to expect? As an actual stoner, I thought they weren't really going to do anything. You know, <laughs> I was proven uh, totally false in that. And uh, with that being said, I want to reiterate, this is a sponsored review in the fact that I got them for free and to make a video, but the ultimate outcome and, you know, what I have to say about the product is totally up to me. And like, I highly recommend these straight up. This is so fucking cool that these got sent to me. I'm sorry. It's just, it's going to be the probably one of the thesis statements of me in this review. But I have what I describe to a lot of my normal viewers know as the Indica voice right now. This, this voice is uh, really only present when I'm super affected by a cannabis product. So... <laughs> You got multiple boxes getting checked over here at the Kushno Ketchup Compound. But uh, I honestly, I'm going to wrap it here. Um, the flavors could use some, you know, some increasing. But Pichango, hey, that gets my sign of approval. And check it out. If you even smoke weed as much as I do uh, all the time, <laughs> I think you're going to have some enjoyment out of these Delta 8 gummies. So uh, I'll put a link uh, to their uh, website in the description of this video. And again, thank you, Tilted. Shout out, Eric. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm so high. Okay, that's the perfect sign to cut this review. It is Kush No Ketchup, and I'm out. Yes. <laughs> Do you have nothing to say now? Now that I'm finally done with the review? Nothing to say. Awesome. Awesome, guys.